Secretary Clinton is lining up staff and support, including many members of President Obama's team. Our latest poll shows she's the overwhelming choice of Democrats. Is there any chance you're going to challenge her? Yes, <laughs> there's a chance. But I haven't made my mind up about that. We've got a lot of work to do between now and then. There's plenty of time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, joining us now is Eleanor Clift, columnist at the Daily Beast and, of course, panelist at the McLaughlin Group. Eleanor, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Sure, glad to be with you. All right, so let's talk about this. You wrote a piece. Are you ready for President Biden? Um, do you think that uh, there's a realistic chance that he actually will throw his hat in the ring? I think there's a chance he will throw his uh, hat in the ring. I don't know that I would call it a realistic chance. But I started poking around uh, into this draft Biden 16 effort. It's essentially it's two young guys who did field work and advanced work for the Obama campaigns in 08 and 12. And they put together a pretty nifty uh, website, and they're you know selling bumper stickers and, and coffee cups and so forth with a, a really cool logo of uh, the vice president with his uh, aviator sunglasses uh, in his Corvette. And it's in these psychedelic colors, and it says <laughs> Biden with Biden. And then when I made some calls into Iowa, I realized that you know running for president is a is a commercial enterprise, and the Democrats in Iowa are looking over at the Republicans. They had a fundraiser uh, last weekend, and there were 11 contenders. Uh, <laughs> That, that, that earns money uh, for the state. It builds the party. It builds excitement. And uh, Democrats are worried that a, a campaign that looks like the only uh, viable one on the Democratic side is not going to generate enough enthusiasm. And uh, Joe Biden, he's run twice before in, in, uh, in uh, 88, I think it was, and in um, 2008. And um, he loves politicking. He's made a lot of friends. He connects instantly and automatically with just about everyone. And so I think you, you see Democrats worried that uh, Hillary Clinton uh, doesn't do that as well. Right. And they just like to get good old Joe in there to, you but know, didn't liven you, up the place. Didn't good old Joe have to, have to uh, recuse himself uh, from one presidential race when he was uh, found to be plagiarizing? And didn't good old Joe say that Barack Obama was the first clean, articulate black man ever to run for president and, and said that education in Iowa is better than in D.C. because you have less minorities and then make those ridiculous 7-Eleven remarks all within the span of a few weeks in 2008? I, I'm, not saying he's, I'm not saying he's without baggage at all, uh, but then uh, name me a candidate who comes with, with no baggage. And so, you know, we're talking about the Democrats uh, nervous that they're going to have a primary season without uh, true competition. They want to have some debates. Uh, the Democrats are amazingly unified. It's it, you know it's not like they don't like Hillary. They just want to have some you know a plan B, right. some backup equipment, you know, just in case. Well, what, what uh, in about the end, Hillary? they're all yeah. going to back Hillary Clinton, and she certainly looks like the likely Democratic nominee. Well, what did you think of her performance yesterday? Fine. Well, what did you think of her not taking questions for almost uh, you know a month? Uh, I think for a candidate who's got as high a profile as she does, uh, that she doesn't need to be out there as answering questions uh, every, every day or, or, or even every month. There's still a long way to go until November of 16, until, in fact, until the Iowa caucuses in January. You know, she'll, she'll be sparring more as we get closer uh, to the dates. What about the uh, revelation that she used two email accounts? The revelation that Sid Blumenthal, uh, after Sid Blumenthal was denied uh, a position in the State Department by the Obama administration, she was communicating with him on Libya and other issues anyway as Secretary of State. I mean, every day we find out more and more and more. And you talk about baggage. Any, hey, any other, any hey other this is journalism. We're having a good time here. There's lots, lots to uncover. <laughs> there's, lot, there's, lot, there's what to uncover? Less sure. to uncover? Sure. Well, what do you mean? Mike? Lots of stories, lots of stories on both sides of the aisle. This is what politics is about. You think a Republican who did what Hillary has done would still be mentioned as a possible presidential candidate? Um, I will leave that to the voters to decide. No, no, but I'm asking you as a journalist. I'm uh, not cooperating with you as a journalist. You won't answer me if there's a double no, standard? No, I don't answer questions. I'm in the Hillary tradition. Well, but that's not right. You're on here to talk to me. You want to answer a question about it? I've answered plenty of your questions. I, well, we started talking about Joe Biden. I, gave, I, I talked about your piece. 
Then mm -hmm. I asked you about his baggage, and then I just so really asked you about the double standard. I mean, I just, you know, Makaka. I think got there are lots of double standards. You can take uh, things that have been done on the Republican side and say, ooh, if a Democrat did that, would they be viable? You know, we, 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 we can play that game. All right. So you won't answer whether or not a Republican who did what Hillary did would still have a political career? I'm not going to answer that. And uh, I think what Hillary did, no, <laughs> there's no proven wrongdoing for starters. I know. So, I know. No uh, evidence. No you, evidence. But you, when you, you wipe the server clean, on, Eleanor, when you wipe the server clean, imaginary dots in your when, mind. When, you wipe, when you wipe the server clean, there's no evidence. I thank you, though, Eleanor. Thank you, Eleanor Cliff. We're coming back with Roger Simon, folks. Don't go away.